I'm waiting for more of your clapping. Praise the Lord. I thank God that this is happening in your day. Showers from heaven. Abundance from heaven. Joy from heaven. Your mountains are moving away. This final day, by the way, thank you very much, choir. It is finished. Your problems finished. Your mountain finished. All the attacks of the devil finished. All the tears finished. For the choir, it is finished. For all our workers, all our ministers, it is finished. For everybody online, anywhere you are, all over the globe, all over the world, your problems tonight are finished in Jesus' name. And then, look up here, look up here, eyeball to eyeball. Your problems are finished in Jesus' name. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you tonight. We bless your name. Thank you because of the abundance of rain, showers of miracle, showers of salvation, showers of healing, showers of mountain moving away, showers of the expectation of your people. Tonight, it's done in Jesus' name. Speak to every heart. Pour down the blessings for everyone. Confirm all that your people are expecting. And as all our ministers, those who are praying for the nations, all our members of the choir prophesying to us, and all the people that you are using, as they have declared, we are not going to carry our problems back home. But well, thank you, Lord, because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. God has blessed you. See now in the blessing of the Lord. Tonight, I want to read to you from 1 Kings chapter 18. I'm reading from verse 1. 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 1. And it came to pass after many days that the word of the Lord came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go, show thyself unto Ahab, and I will send rain upon the earth, upon the earth, upon the earth. And today, as we come to the concluding message, the Lord is telling us, is sending rain, is sending showers, is sending blessing, is sending the supernatural exploits from glory, and is sending it upon the earth, all the nations of the earth, all the countries in the world, and every locality, every local government, every region, every state, every community in the whole world, I will send rain upon the earth but the children of israel at this time they were neither here nor there and so god had to challenge them look at verse 20 in verse 20 it says so he have sent unto all the children of israel and he gathered the prophets together unto mount camel verse 21 and Elijah came unto all the people and said, How halt, how long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him, but if Baal, then follow him. 
And the people answered him not a word. They couldn't answer. They didn't understand that the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, that God was still alive. They had gone into worshiping Baal, and it had been terrible for them because they were halting between two opinions. And the Lord is telling us tonight, make up your mind and make your choice and understand that the God of heaven, he says, I am God, I change not. And that Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Lord, is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And then, as you come to the side of the Lord, there are going to be showers for you. Look at verse 45. In verse 45, it says, And it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with clouds and wind, and there was a great rain. It happened then, it's going to happen now. A great rain. But then the Lord is making an appeal tonight. The message is divine appeal to seekers of showers of blessing. God is asking, where do you stand? What do you believe? What do you understand? Do you know that that problem you are brought in today, the Lord is going to clear it away? That sickness, the Lord is going to clear it away. That mountain is going to move tonight. All those things that have brought sorrow in your life, that everything tonight is going to be solved. And it's appealing to you. And it's saying, don't be of two opinions here and there. Come and center your mind and your faith on the Almighty, the one that never fails. And tonight, miracle in your spirit, in your soul, in your body, and in your life, in your family, in Jesus' name. Deuteronomy chapter 30, we're reading from verse 19. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 19, I call heaven and earth to record this day against you that I have said before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life. The choice is yours. There is healing, the sickness, choose healing. The sin, the salvation, choose salvation. The sadness, there's gladness, choose gladness. There is evil, there is good, choose good. There is blessing and there is cursing, choose blessing. There is life and there is death, choose life. That both thou and thy seed may live. I come to announce to you the decision of heaven concerning you. You will live. Yeah. Eternal life. Yeah. Abundant life. Yeah. Heavenly life. Yeah. Supernatural life. Yeah. A life that one will not be cut short. You will live in Jesus' name. Yeah. Divine appeal to seekers of showers of blessing tonight there are three things we're talking about number one halting number two hearing number three healing you move from halting onto hearing and as you hear well tonight you are going to hear well then healing will follow I am healed. I am healed. Number one, halting between two opinions and suffering. The children of Israel were halting here, there, here, there, between two opinions, and they were suffering. On Sunday, some people come to their church, to their service. They're looking up to the God 
of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob on Monday, they are back to their idols, they are halting. And while you are halting like that, there is suffering. Halting between two opinions and suffering. Number two, hearing with thoughtful observation and surrendering. As, as um, Elijah came, Elijah said, we're going to put these gods to a test. And the prophets of Baal, let them put their sacrifice, but put no fire on them. And then I will bring the sacrifice, no fire on them. Let them pray. There are very many, more than 450. And it says, when they pray, if that bear is able to bring fire, then we know that it has power. But if it does not have the power to bring the fire down, I alone think about that. One man, Elijah, with the word of God, with the spirit of God, with the power of God, with the assurance from God. I alone, I will pray. And then the God that answers by fire, he will be your God. And so they heard with thoughtful observation. And they surrendered all the regalia and all the things of idol worship. And what happens, number three, healing from the truly obedient, for the truly obedient supplicant. As you supplicate, as you pray, as you call on the God of heaven. And you know, this is the only God, the God of salvation and the God of of her healing, the God of her redemption, and the God that works miracles even till today. Today, miracle will come upon your life. Healing, total healing. In your spirit, in your soul, in your mind, in your body, in your family, in your project, in your profession, in everything you set your hand on, the Lord will knock the hand of the devil away from your life completely in Jesus' name. <laughs> Healing for the truly obedient supplicant. Now we're coming to number one. Number one, halting between two opinions and suffering. While they were halting, between two opinions, okay, I come to the crusade, and then after the crusade, I go back to my religion. I come to the crusade, and after the crusade, I go back to the papa who used to put uh, charms for me. I will come to the crusade. After the crusade, I will go to those people that will give me something to drink and something to swallow. I will go to the crusade. After the crusade, I go to those people that will give me something to rub halting between two opinions. Look at that again in 1 Kings chapter 18 verse 21. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long? Halt ye between two opinions. You have been daily dallying. You have been going here and going there. You have been seeking here and seeking there. You have been halting between two opinions for how many years now? And you are still suffering. You have been halting two opinions for all these many years and you are not saved. You have been halting two opinions all these long time and your life is not settled. Your family is not settled. That's why the Lord is asking you, how long? How long? If you have been going on a road for a long time and you didn't get your destination, why don't you turn back and say, there's no salvation there. I've been there a long time and there's no healing there. And there's no rest of mind there. And there's no unity of family. There's nothing there that establishes and then brings blessing upon your family. I've been going that long road a long time and it has not profited me. I come back. As you come back, something good will happen in your life. How long? 
all ye. Between two opinions, if the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. They couldn't make up their mind. What do we do? Tradition has been for a long time. And tradition has made an inroad into our lives. Religious tradition. Superficial tradition. Superstitious tradition. And the native tradition. We follow here, follow here. And then there's no way. Look at these people in Second Kings chapter 17. I'm reading from verse 9. Second Kings chapter 17. We're reading from verse 9. It says, And the children of Israel did secretly do things which were not right against the Lord their God. You know, there are people, uh, they, you know, talk like Christians on Sunday and they behave like Christians on Sunday. They sit gently there on Sunday and everything appears to be all right. But secretly, secretly, they think, they act, they do, they behave, they practice secret things that were not right against the Lord their God. Look at verse 33. In verse 33, they feared the Lord and served their own gods. They said, I fear the Lord. I believe the Lord. Pastor, let me tell you, I've been baptized in water as an infant. They feared the Lord. I have baptismal certificate. They feared the Lord. They say they take the Holy Communion in their assembly, but secretly, they're still doing evil. They feared the Lord and served their own gods, their family gods, their tribal gods. Their national gods, they feared the Lord externally, internally, they served their own gods after the manner of the nations whom they carried away from this. Verse 34, it says, Unto this day, these people who say, I'm religious, I know one verse in the Bible. I have two Bibles, three Bibles in my house. Yet, unto this day, they do after their former manners. They fear not the Lord. They fear the Lord, but not for their heart. They don't have experience of salvation. They don't honor the Lord. They don't believe in the Lord. And so the Lord said, they fear not the Lord. Neither do they after their statues or after their ordinances or after the law and the commandment which the Lord commanded the children of Jacob whom he named Israel. Look there at verse 40. In verse 40 it says, How be it they did not hearken. They have been at the crusade. They did not hearken. They think just coming to the crusade, that's all. But then they're still halting between two opinions. But they did after their former manners. The smoking of the past, still there. The drunkenness of the past, still there. The adultery, fornication of the past, still there. The stealing of the past is still there. The fighting, the violence of the past is still there. The cruelty of the past is still there. They do after their former manners. Then in verse 41, it says, So these nations feared the Lord and served their graven images. Look at that. These nations feared the Lord. They said, Our national religion is Christianity. And so, they do all the things that Christianity has brought to them. They observe the Christmas and the Easter and the harvest time and the religious things and the religious songs. And then they quote some Bible. They even memorize some verses of the Bible. But these nations fear the Lord and served their grieving images, both their children and their children's children. 
as did their fathers, so do they. Those are the people, they are halting between two opinions. But today, you will not halt. I didn't hear. You, you will not halt. All sin is taken away from you in Jesus' name. And then you make up your mind. You say, Christ is my Savior. Every day of my life, Christ is my Lord. And every time, anywhere I find myself, I live according to my conviction that I am born again, I am converted, I'm a child of God. I will not be halting between two opinions. You will not halt anymore in Jesus' name. Look at Jeremiah chapter 2, reading from verse 13. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 13. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken me, the fountain of living waters, and huge them out sisters, broken sisters, that can hold no water. That can hold no water. Check up your life. Why don't you make up your mind and say, This God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, is the one I will serve. I will not turn here and turn there. I will remain with the Lord. And then all the calamities of the past will be taken away from your life in Jesus' name. Tonight, I said tonight will be the night of your redemption. You will come out of Egypt and you will come out of every spell, every calamity that the Egyptian life has brought upon your life in Jesus' name. For my people have committed two evils. They have forsaken the fountain of living waters and healed them out, sisters. Broken sisters that can hold no water. Look at verse 17. It says, As thou not procured this unto thyself, all this suffering, Christ would have removed them. If you were not halting between two opinions, have you not procured this unto thyself, in that thou hast forsaken the Lord thy God? When he led thee by the way, look at uh, chapter 30 there, in chapter 30 of Jeremiah, verse 15, Why Christ thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thine iniquity, because thy sins were increased. I have done these things unto thee. But now, when you make up your mind, things are going to change. In your life, things are going to change. In your family, things are going to change. On your body, things are going to change. All the pains and all the calamity and all the civil things you have felt until this time as you turn to the Lord and you say, idols no more. Traditional religion no more. And the superficial religion no more. I give my heart, my life, everything I've got. I give to the Lord. Things will change. Look at verse 17. In verse 17, for I will restore health unto thee. Unto who? I said unto who? I rejoice with you. All those, all those things of the past, they call incurable disease. Everything will go away tonight. For I will restore health unto thee. I will heal thee of thy wounds, says the Lord. Because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. And then in verse 22, look at verse 22, and ye shall be my people. Where are the people? Ye shall be my people. I say, where are the people? You will belong to God. And when you belong to God, no Satan, no sickness, no evil will touch your life again in Jesus' name. And I will be your God. Your God. Who is that? Your God. Your God. You will not belong to God and Satan at the same time. Amen. Amen. 
you will not belong to God and secret cult at the same time. You will not be halting between two opinions. And he says, I will be your God. No more halting. I said no more halting. Let's come back now to our story. We're coming to point number two. Hearing with thoughtful observation and surrendering. Now, look at that. Hearing with observation. Hearing with thoughtful observation. As you have come, you have had all these testimonies. And you have seen the great things God is doing in our day. You have seen that he's walking here in Port Harcourt at the site of the crusade now. He's walking all over Nigeria. You have seen and heard their testimony. You have seen that he goes beyond Nigeria in different countries of Africa. You have heard testimonies. You have heard testimonies from Europe. You have heard testimonies from America. You have heard from Australia. You have heard from India. You have heard from Asia. When you hear, you have thoughtful observation. You say, uh -uh, if God can do this in our day, that means the age of miracle has not passed. That means God who sees me here and he saw all those other people here, you are very thoughtful. You meditate on what you are hearing. Thoughtful observation. And you say, if that is so, I surrender to the Lord. As you surrender to the Lord, miracles will take place in your life. You'll be a child of God. And then his power, his strength, and every miracle you desire will be following after you day by day. Look at First Kings chapter 18, verse 22. They heard, they observed, they were thoughtful, they surrendered. Then said Elijah unto the people, I even I only remain a prophet of the Lord. But Baal's prophets are 450 men. Verse 23, it says, Let them therefore give us two bullocks, and let them choose one bullock for themselves, and cut each in pieces, and lay each on wood. And put no fire under. And I will dress the other bullock and lay it on wood and put no fire under. Verse 24. And call ye on the name of your gods. And I will call on the name of the Lord and the God that answereth by fire. Let him be God. And all the people answered and said, It is well spoken. It is well spoken. Now, look at all the places you have gone, seeking healing and deliverance and the ex exorcism that he is driving the evil spirit out. And they give you something to drink. And something to swallow. And he tell you to roll on the ground. And he tell you to kneel on the sand. And then they say whatever they want to say. You go back home the same. Everything is still the same. But look at the other side. Without throwing anything at you. Without rubbing your forehead. And without doing anything. Jesus said, where two or three are gathered in my name, I am there in their midst. Christ is still alive. And to prove that he's still alive, we say, Lord Jesus, you're still alive. And you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Look at your child there. Look at your creature there. Look at the believer there. Touch them, heal them. And then uh, he does it. 
Is Christ dead or alive? Is Christ impotent or powerful? Is Christ able or unable? Able. You hear those testimonies and you sing. And because of that thoughtful observation, you surrender. Now, all those prophets of Baal, they did everything they wanted to do. They jumped on the altar. They caught themselves. They spoke in some languages, uh, you know, uh, people don't understand. They were in ecstasy. And there was a great, a great noise. And nothing happened. And Elijah said, wake him up. If it's a God, Elijah said, if he's gone on a journey, bring him back. And they shouted more, and nothing happened. Now Elijah said, all right, you've done your bitch, come aside. Look at verse 36 now. In verse 36, and it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, he didn't jump, he didn't spin around, he didn't do any gymnastics, he didn't do any acrobatic display, he just stood there and said, God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel, and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things according to thy word. Think you hear with thoughtful observation. You see that everything we have done here is in the plain. We're here before you. You hear the singing and you hear all the people testifying and you see the doctor that is examining them and is saying this is what we found out and then you hear other people that after they were healed, they went for medical checkup and they brought their medical result. And they said, we were at this point. But now, after the prayer, I went to check up. Look at the result. Why don't you listen to that and observe thoughtfully and then surrender yourself. And so Elijah said that I have done all these things according to thy word in verse 37 it says hear me O lord hear me that these people may know that thou art the lord god and that thou hast turned their heart back again all the testimonies we're hearing all the good things the lord has done is so that as you hear and think and observe and surrender you will know that the lord is god and that he has turned your heart back again unto himself look at verse 38 in verse 38 then the fire of the lord fell somebody shout a great amen <laughs> then the fire of the lord fell tonight as he has done in all the other days, the fire of God will fall. It will burn away every chaff out of your life. Every sickness out of your life. Every infirmity out of your life. All the devil's property that is lodged there in your life, the Lord will, be, will bring a total extermination. Burn them out tonight in Jesus' name. And consumed the burnt sacrifice and the wood and the stone and the doors and licked up the water that was in the trench. Tonight is your night. Tonight is my night. Look at verse 39. In verse 39, when all the people when all the people when all the people saw it it wasn't something that you know only the initiated could see only the people they have spoken to in the private 
that uh, you know when you go there then say i see i see no there's no private thing here and there is no uh, manipulation here when all the people saw it they fell on their faces and they said the lord he is the god the lord he is the god the god that is able the god that answers prayer the god that saves the soul the god that takes bad luck away the god that turns your life around he the god of heaven is the god he has come to visit you he will do it in your life in jesus name job chapter 42 reading from verse 2 i know job chapter 42 verse 2 i know that thou canst do everything he said i know and the children of israel when they saw the fire falling down and elijah did not strike any match did not put any artificial there this is fire from heaven healing from heaven deliverance from heaven power from heaven now job said job had been down from chapter one of job the devil ravaged his family the devil destroyed his farm everything collapsed chapter two the devil visited again and everything was totally gone and then even his body there was sickness and then in chapter 3 the friends came they could only talk philosophy they could only talk history they could only talk religion and they talked and talked and talked we're not looking for talk we're looking for miracle miracle has come tonight i said miracle has come tonight and then after they spoke and spoke and spoke philosophy came in religion came in history came in but no solution then god himself spoke to job and said were you there when i made this were you there when that happened and then job said now i know when you come to the point that you know that God is able and that God will roll that mountain away tonight, it will happen. Yeah. I know that thou canst do everything. Everything in my life, you can do everything. Everything I have lost, you can bring everything back to me. My body that is sick, you can bring healing to my body. And then all my property that was burnt up in fire, you can bring back that property. All my children that are lost, you can give me other children to replace them. I know that thou canst do everything and that no thought can be withholding from thee. Look at now in verse 10 verse 10 tells us verse 10 job chapter 42 verse 10 and the lord turned the captivity of job and the lord turns your captivity tonight when he prayed for his friends and the lord gave job and the lord gave job twice as much as he had before i welcome you to the blessing of god i welcome you to the superabundance of god tonight in jesus name let's look at point three now point three is the healing for the truly obedient supplicant the healing for the truly obedient supplicant as these people saw when elijah prayed and he said god of abraham god of isaac let the people know that i've done this according to your word and then the fire fell look at verse 41 in verse 41 first kings chapter 18 verse 41 and elijah said unto ahab get thee up eat and drink 
because all the problems of the past tonight at this time they're vanishing away for there is a sound of abundance of rain there is a sound of abundance of rain now only elijah heard that sound of abundance of rain ahab did not hear jezebel did not hear the servants of ahab did not hear even the servant of elijah did not hear but whether other people hear or not your miracle is definite tonight there is a sound of abundance of rain not only rain abundance of rain in your life abundance of supply abundance of provision abundance of miracle look at verse 42 in verse 42 and he had so ahab went up to eat and to drink elijah said ahab go and eat and drink there's an abundance the sound of the abundance of rain ahab of all people even though he did not hear the sound of abundance of rain he knew this prophet who prayed and fire came down whatever he tells me now i will do because he hears what i cannot hear if ahab could act like that how about you you are better than ahab now am i right you are better than jezebel am i right ah if ahab could go up and eat and the three and a half years of farming is coming to an end now he didn't see the vision he didn't hear any voice from heaven only elijah heard and he believed elijah as you believe the prophet the man of god you believe the one that the lord has sent you tonight miracle will happen in your life so he have went up to eat and to drink and elijah went up to the top of camel and he cast himself down upon the earth and put his face between his knees now elijah that great prophet at his own time that's how he prayed but then later a greater than elijah what's his name jesus is come now and when jesus prayed he didn't cast himself down elijah did that but jesus is the word in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god and the word became flesh and dwelt among us and will be held the glory as of the glory of the only begotten son full of grace and full of truth he doesn't cast himself down now all he does now is look up and said father i know you have heard me already but because of the people who are here i say this was lazarus come forth what happened he came forth but elijah that's how he prayed that's how we pray now we're disciples of christ we're following after christ and we just speak the word speak the word only and my servant shall be healed you are healed tonight you're saved tonight you're delivered tonight it is confirmed in your life in jesus name verse 43 in verse 43 and he said to his servants go up now and look toward the sea elijah said i've heard the sound of abundance of rain i know an abundance of rain showers coming down but my servant go and check up go and see and he went up and he looked and said 
There is nothing. There is nothing. You know, after the prayer, they will say, check up. Just like Elijah said to his servants, go and find out. And they came back and he said, I am, I am, I've gone to check and there is nothing. You know, some people, when they check for the first time like that and nothing, they see nothing, they're on to the bus stop. But Elijah said, go again. Check again. You must see something tonight. Check up again. Second time, nothing. No, you didn't see well. Go and check up again. The third time, and he came back and said, nothing. Elijah was so sure. God had said in verse 1, I sent rain upon the whole earth. Verse 1. And now we've gone through all the verses and we come almost to the end of the chapter. What God has said in verse 1 must take place before the end of your chapter. And so that's why Elijah said, go the fourth time. He said, I see nothing. What kind of eyes do you have? When we say check up, that tumor is gone. That cancer is gone. That infirmity is gone. So Elijah will not give up. He said, go again. Three times, nothing. Six times, nothing. He said, complete the cycle seven times. Naaman did himself in the water seven times old testament when he dipped the first time the problem was still there second time problem there when he did the, se the seven time perfection total time everything was totally clean and his flesh was like the flesh of a little child look at jericho walls the wings around was nothing second time nothing third time nothing on the seventh day they went around seven times and they shouted the shout of victory the walls came down your walls must come down anything standing between you and the power of god on this final day you will not go without a miracle and then look at verse 44. In verse 44, and it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there ariseth a little cloud out of the sea, like a man's hand. Little cloud. Ah, we're looking for showers, but we only have a little feeling. We're looking for rivers, and we're looking for rain. We're looking for abundance. We're looking for superabundance, and we only see a little hand here. That's enough. I say that's enough. It's an indication that the abundance now has come. And he said, go up, say unto Ahab, Prepare thy chariot, get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. An avalanche of miracles. Multiple miracles upon your life. And then in verse 45, verse 45 says, And it came to pass, it must come to pass in your life. The prophecy of the word will come to pass in your life. The salvation that is provided will come to pass in your life. The miracle of today, the greatest of miracles will come to your life. It will come to pass in your life. It, and it came to pass in the meanwhile that the heaven was black with clouds and wind. And there was, and there was, and there was. And there was a great rain, great salvation. Where are you? Great healing. Where are you? Great miracle. Where are you? Abundance tonight. Super abundance tonight. And the Lord is bringing it upon your life. 
Heads bowed and eyes closed. Heads bowed and eyes closed. Salvation is real and is coming from heaven. Righteousness is real and is coming from heaven. Forgiveness is real and is coming from heaven. He will take all the guilt of your past life. He'll take everything away. Amen. Amen. You want that great salvation, great forgiveness, great freedom, great redemption, and it's coming upon you now, wherever you are. Thank you. You're already raising up your hand. Wherever you are, raise up that hand. Salvation, righteousness, redemption, forgiveness coming upon your life. Today, it will come as a reality in your life in Jesus' name. You are raising up your hands. Please stand up. It's yours now. It is yours now. Where are you? It is yours now. The Lord already has told you, choose life and you will live. Some people say, I don't know whether salvation is for me or not. It's for everyone. Choose life. Choose blessing. Choose salvation. And you will live. Raise up your hand and stand up. In all the places where you are, any city, any local church where you're congregated together and we're connected together now, that salvation of the Lord without a shadow of doubt is coming upon your life. Online, anywhere, everywhere is coming. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all those who have raised up their hands and they indicate they are not going to hurt between two opinions anymore that Jesus who died on the cross will be their savior, their only savior. I pray as they surrender their lives to you now, save them, everyone without exception, in Jesus' name. Confirm your salvation in their hearts. Thank you, Lord. I know it is done. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you as we have asked and you have asked and you have believed it is done. We call on our state overseer here in River Stage uh, to help us with the counseling now. And then after this short time, I come back. There's going to be multiplied miracle upon every life, even tonight. In Jesus' name. You are welcome to the kingdom of God. Give your full name, your telephone number, and all that is required on the form. As you do that, you will continue in the blessing of the Lord. As you receive more help, from the church, from our pastor, by the grace of God. Counsel us, attend to every one of them everywhere. In the overflow, attend to them in all our locations. Let's attend to every one of them. Write in capital letter, block letters, so that we can read what you've written. The rest of us, get prepared for torrential rain. It's going to come upon you tonight. You will see it. You will testify. It's for you. Cancel us. The moment you finish, you let us know. For those watching us online, you just gave your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. After the pastor's message now, this evening, visit the link showing on the screen now and fill the form so we can assist you further 
in your new walk with Christ. Also, in that same link, click to it. There is a gift for you. A book written by the pastor that will help you, edify you, build you up. So please make sure you get to the link. As you do that, your blessings will never cease. Also, those listening to us through radio and television, please send your name, your phone number, and your email address via SMS or WhatsApp to this telephone number. Plus 234 705 278 1389. I repeat, plus 234 705 278 1389. There will be a special online banquet for all those watching online who gave their lives to the Lord. Details about this will be sent to you. A pastor is delighted to have you join this special banquet. God bless you. Counsel us. If you are finished, indicate, please. Get ready for your miracle. Tonight, as the crusade is ending, your problems are ending. Tonight, they all will expire. Tonight, you will not see them again. God is going to throw them into the sea of forgetfulness. You will testify. Get ready for your miracle, for your family miracles, and for miracles concerning every area of your life. Counsel us. If you are finished, please indicate. Get ready. Start saying bye-bye to your problems. They are all going to vanish. They fly away. Something will fall out of your body. Get ready. God bless you. The counselors are ready. Now get ready and start saying on your minds, get steady to your problems. Praise the Lord. The joy of the Lord in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Now, as our faces are different, our problems are different. And every problem, whatever shape, whatever size, however long it has been there, the Lord is taking it away from you tonight in Jesus' name. And so, like Ahab, of all people, believed, when Elijah said, go up eat and drink there is the sound of abundance of rain if Ahab believed that you believe the Lord you believe his prophet it will happen in your life there will be shout of healing deliverance miracle mountain moved away in every life tonight in jesus name 
like Elijah told his servant, go and see. And he went hurriedly and came back and see nothing. You'll not be in a hurry like that. Because the miracle is to be deposited in your life in that place. When you check up, you will see. If you don't see, check up again. Then check up again. This last day. The final day of that problem in your life. Raise up your hand and lay the other hand where the problem is, the challenge is, the sickness is, the infirmity, the pain is, it will go. Yeah. Father, we thank you. We glorify you. We exalt you. There is nothing you cannot do. You fix everything in every life, everywhere, all over the globe tonight in Jesus name every sickness whatever the name every sickness whatever the shape every infirmity no matter how long it's been there I speak your word to that infirmity and sickness come out in Jesus name Every form of oppression, every form of attack, every form of captivity, nullify everything right now. Yeah. Incurable disease, be healed in Jesus' name. Yeah. Blind eyes, be opened now. Yeah. Dumb tongues, speak out now. Deaf ears hear now. Paralyzed with that hand, stretch for that hand. Behold, in Jesus' name. Stroke, paralysis, lameness, broken bones, be healed right now in Jesus' name. Cancer, be healed. COVID-19, be healed. Ulcer, be healed. Respiratory problem, be healed in Jesus' name. Tuberculosis, you are healed. And any part of your body that is missing, Lord, do a creative miracle right now in Jesus' name. HIV AIDS be healed in Jesus name spiritual problems spiritual attacks spiritual affliction come out in Jesus name Lord fulfill the expectations of all your people brother sister man woman boy girl right here left and center and at the back in the front everywhere every country touch everyone right now the name of jesus finished all your calamity confirm it to lord let there be healing everywhere miracle everywhere power demonstration everywhere thank you lord i know i know i know it is done in jesus name we pray you have got it your healing your deliverance your miracle is right there with you